what's happening. So most of this video is gonna be heavily on coding and utilizing the Hugging Face platform. But first, today I just wanna introduce you to Hugging Face, a company that is revolutionizing natural language processing and AI. Hugging Face provides a broad range of pre-trained models and tools like transformers, tokenizers, and data sets, making AI accessible to anyone and eliminating the need to start from scratch. This platform fosters collaboration, openness, and encourages knowledge transfers among AI enthusiasts across the globe while emphasizing responsible AI. Hugging Face, you are going to love it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Go to huggingface.co and then log in or sign up, depending on where you're at in this journey. All right, so after you log in, um, you'll come to your default pages. We're gonna go ahead and start off on models. All right, so now we're on the model screen. Today, we're gonna be working on summarization. So there's a couple of ways to get to it. You either can go down the left where the tasks are at and click on summarization and it will update the list on the right hand side. Um, from there, you can select which ones are trending or most downloaded and then go to that. Or you can also just go to the search and just type in the model you're looking for. Today, we're gonna use this model for summarization. On these model cards, they usually have a little bit of information, descriptions, um, some sample codes, uh, if it uses any databases. Um, so these, these cards are, some of them are pretty well detailed, some of them are a little scarce. This one seems to be pretty decent. So on here, the fastest, easiest way to get going, usually on any model that's on here, deploy. Click on deploy, Inference API. We're gonna go ahead and copy it. Open up any editor that you like. This is VS Code. Paste in your code there. This one looks like it's just missing an output. And that's it. Save, open a terminal and run and there you go that is unbelievable okay now we're going to go ahead and use the transformers and we're going to copy we're going to go back to our same code we had before just go ahead and paste it in we're going to delete all this information from the api call we're going to go ahead and just call this uh, text equals there's a comma that was wrong. Da, da, da. And then we're going to uh, return pipe text. And then print return. Go ahead and hit save and we'll try to rerun it. So there you go. This one does tend to run a little bit longer depending on your local machine. If you've got a you know, high powered machine with four NVIDIA cards. It'll probably run pretty quick, um, but same results, just like the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and do the, um, where we actually set up the tokenizer. So we're gonna grab this one that actually sets up the model and tokenizer. All right, so I'm gonna just go right above this one. Paste that in there, up that pipeline. All right, so this one, this one actually allows you to set up the tokenizer and the model. We do the same thing here. What we need to add though is the tokenizer. The nicer. Go ahead and hit save. And that should do it for that one. All right, so there you go. Same results across all three different platforms. One thing to know is when you're using the tokenizer that it will download the model and the tokenizer to your local system. So if you haven't previously downloaded it, it will download it at runtime. Okay, so that you can find those downloaded models by going to your home directory and then doing a command shift period, and that will show you hidden files, and they'll be located in this cache. So as you can see, if you go into these here, um, your hub, this is where all your models download to. See all the different model downloads. So everything will download there if you ever do need to um, 
locate them. The benefit of using that is when you have multiple projects sharing the same one, it will cache it. So even though that last example went pretty smoothly, that's not always the case. I did create a GitHub up there that you have access to. This will help you explore different models without all the um, pain and suffering when it doesn't go right. So in this one, you just have your, um, your .env, put in your information. It has the API one, which we went through the first demo. It's broken down a little bit easier for you. It pulls the information out of your environment variables, uh, and then it just allows you to quickly change, uh, modify the text. Pipeline, same thing, broken down pretty easily. And the local one. Uh, one other thing I did put in here, which is highly um, valuable when you're going through this stuff. So this tool will come in very handy. Python, just called the get model info. Getting the model info is very helpful when you're running the transformer because sometimes running the, the auto model or the auto tokenizer that you get from Hugging Face sometimes conflicts with what model is out there. Um, but one of the big things that you will learn to love is this architectures one. Um, a lot of times this will be your fix to it if you can grab that data. All right, so I hope you love it. Thank you very much.